So it's the first day of school. <sighs> I'm like excited but nervous at the same time because um the kids haven't been in school for what feels like two school years, right? So I'm praying that everything goes well today. I know it's gonna be a little bit chaotic when she gets there. Um, I did talk to her last night about, you know, her environment and the no touch zones. Okay. These little boys, uh, no touch zones, stranger danger, you know, all that stuff. Gave her the whole rundown about what's in her book bag, when to use it, all that stuff. Whew. And then last night we had a little bit of a setback. I took out the, I took Four things out of her book bag. I took the hand sanitizer, the repositioning glue, the uh, permanent markers, and the ink pens. I took those out, you guys, um, because I don't think they're going to need that on the first day. And they gave that to all middle schoolers, okay? So, for some reason, that that hit her nerve last night like she was like really broken up about it she was all crying and stuff and i was like girl okay it's not that deep i mean i guess she felt like i took her stuff but i didn't take anything i anyways i ain't gotta explain myself because i'm the parent okay so we was dealing with that last night she pretty much cried herself to sleep i don't know what was going on with her i think it might might have been a mixture of different emotions, probably anxiety mixed with excitement. Just I don't know. Y'all know how it is when we um when it was for what it was for us when we were first day of school. We was all excited, couldn't sleep the night before, you know, stuff like that. So I don't know, girl, but she seemed to be okay this morning. She's pretty excited. She got dressed in like it didn't even take her that long. Like we still have um. Uh, let me see. The bus comes at 8.40. So we'll leave out of here around 8.35. Because we literally are right here in the front. So about 8.35, 8.30ish, just in case it comes a little bit early. And then I'm going to walk her over there to the bus stop. Um, oh, I wonder how she's going to feel about that. Because in elementary, you know, of course, you got to be at the bus stop with them 
as they're getting on the bus and when they're getting off the bus. The middle school, I don't think that's required, but just for my sanity, I need to make sure that I physically see her get on the bus, okay? So I thought she was gonna want breakfast, but she didn't want any breakfast. She's not hungry, so she's gonna eat at school. And that gave me some time to spare, so I changed my clothes so that I could be covered up when I go outside to the bus stop. Um, and now I'm about to go ahead and turn on my computer and stuff. Because right after she get, <sighs> I'm sorry y'all, right after she get on the bus, um, it's going to be almost time for class. So, y'all, we are almost to the end point. We're almost to the end. Um, let's see, today is day, what, 18 of certification? And I mean, it is what it is. It's a learning experience. Um, still learning about the systems and stuff like that. We start taking calls uh, next week. So we start taking our mock calls next week. Certification class ends on the 20th, but you know, you still service under that SOW. So it's pretty cool. I mean, um, like I said, the one thing, the main, well, I think the hardest part of certification is keep, well, I'm not, it just, you know what, it really depends on the person because for some people, self-paced work is the hardest part of the course, which is so crazy to me because self-paced means you do it at your own pace. So I don't know, but some people find it hard to keep up with the self-paced so they end up not completing the course for that reason um and then learning the systems like learning the systems is probably going to be the hardest part of the class because you're learning something new but the homework like i just work that in like last night i was up until midnight because i had to prioritize you know i have to take care of house first like we I had to break it up we took care of school yesterday morning or afternoon then took care of home then, you know, get her ready for school and all that. So homework got put off until last night. So I was able to do two days worth of self-paced. So I don't know, you guys, I think it's just when I get agents that tell me that they have to drop a course because they can't keep up with certification. Of course, I give everybody the benefit of the doubt because you never know what's going on in someone else's life. Um, but I always try to encourage anyone that's doing a certification class that the self-paced work, yes, it is a lot of work. It could take about up to two hours or so, depending on, you know, um, depending on your speed of going through it. And then you have the weekends to make up for whatever you didn't complete during the week. Like, you get what I'm saying? So there's different ways you could do your self-paced. You can break it up. You can do one module spend 30 minutes on one module, get that complete, go clean the toilet if you need to, and then come back, do another module. Like you don't have to like sit here straight and do it. I don't do that. Um, I break it up. I do a little bit of this, then I go do something else. Then I come back and do a little bit of this, and then I go do something else. But I don't know, some people find it really tough to get past the course, the self-paced work. So I don't know. Um, I, like I said, I guess it just depends on the person. But um, Libby's not taking lunch today. She's going to eat lunch at school. I think I explained that to you guys in a previous video that the school district that she goes to, they automatically get free breakfast and free lunch. So she doesn't have to, like, I don't have to pay for anything or anything like that. Now, before, well, the, well, anyways, I ain't even about to go through all that. Um, I was about to talk too much is what I was about to do okay so anyway yeah yes this ear is still bothering me oh my gosh I took a um I did like a home DIY sort of speak of apple cider vinegar I did a half a cup of apple cider vinegar a half a cup of water powdered ginger and turmeric and a little bit of honey and I drunk it 
where I drank what I could. I, it was all warmed up on the stove. Um, that apple cider vinegar burned, baby. It burned going down, but I I can say this like this. It slightly opened up this ear, just just a little bit, just a little bit. So, whew, when I mustered up enough courage to do another like apple cider vinegar, ginger, turmeric shot, I don't know. Maybe I'll do it for you guys on the camera, but. Yes, girl. So if you're having ear problems, if you can provide some home remedies, let me know. Because y'all, WebMD and Google will have you thinking you got all types of stuff, okay? So I got a number of things that I think it is, but it's like because I haven't been to the doctor, I have no idea what it is. But it's so aggravating and it's way past overdue for this to be done with okay so if you got an idea now i don't want to use that to brock stuff again i'm scared y'all the last like i said the last time um well in a previous video the last time i used that the brock's earwax removal stuff it seemed like it clogged up my ear more so i'm a bit nervous to use that um it's like i can i can't hear but everything sounds muffled even me talking right now my own voice sounds muffled to me um, so I have to like turn everything up like the volume on my headset like it's so crazy Anyway, you guys I talked enough. Let me get Olivia to this bus stop and I'll be back All right, y'all so it's after school girl Wait, I'm gonna bring Okay Today was not the day to be not keeping in contact with the parents. Okay, so Olivia's school bus comes at uh between 4 30 and 4 45 girl tell me why it's almost six o'clock and she just not getting off the bus okay Whew. i had to calm my nerve girl i called that school so many times i know they knew it was me calling because i mean i don't change my voice or nothing i know they knew it was me i kept calling like yo did all the buses leave? Did all the buses leave? Can you please check and make sure my child ain't sitting up there at the school, you know? Because I've been standing outside for almost an hour and she ain't here. Anyway, y'all, they got my nerves bad today with that, okay? Because I was so scared. I was like, oh, my God. All kind of stuff was going through my head. For one, I was hoping Olivia remembered her bus driver and what she looked like. So, and then two, I was hoping she remembered what bus number she was supposed to get on. And three, I was praying, oh, Lord Jesus, that she didn't get on the wrong bus or that she wasn't stuck at the school. So, who y'all, my nerves. <laughs> I was so scared because one thing I don't play about is, well, there's three things I don't play about, okay? My family, my money, and my kid, okay? She she gets her own little special pocket with that. I don't play with that, okay? So when somebody on the phone telling me that they can't give me no information about my child's whereabouts, because the lady literally was telling me she didn't know. You don't hey, know. You what to? you mean you don't know? You, don't, you can't tell me what if my child got on the bus or not. You don't know? Okay, anyway. Whew. All right, so, how was school? It was good. It was good? Yeah. Cool. All right. Bring me all the paperwork. This is it. I'm going to read the school supplies. So, like I said, composition of notebooks. Oh, do you want to be on fit camera? Yeah, sure. Okay. Let me do it. I got to ask her first, y'all, because she's older now, so I, I got to ask permission. I can't just be popping her up on the screen. Mom, is it weird that my stomach hurts and I haven't eaten all day or pooped? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> We were supposed to have bathroom breaks, like we have assigned bathroom breaks, but they never took us, like not once. <sighs> they didn't let y'all go to the bathroom? No, it's not that they didn't let us, they just didn't take us. And on PE days, I get to bring my own water bottle. Well, I have well, to. Well, I think because you're in middle school, I don't think they're going to, like in elementary school, how everybody had to line up to go to the bathroom. I don't think they do that in middle school. I think they you take just... you one by one or let you go one by one. Oh, okay. I was about to say, they're not going to line y'all up like two-year-olds to take y'all to the bathroom. And on P.E. days, which is A.B. day, I'm going to have to bring my water bottle because they don't let you use the fountains. Oh, okay. Okay, so I got to make sure I got you a, a water bottle. So, come on. So, hook me up with the info. Here, screw so, around so our friends can 
kiss here. A friend. Yeah. Hi. Usually every YouTuber calls them like Oh, wait, let me do. Mm, so what we got now let's see now you see why i wasn't trying to let you go with all that stuff last night you was crying and tricked her for absolutely no reason because <laughs> look you need all this and ain't none of that in your book bag except for this one composition notebook i think you got the pencils oh you do need pens only red and black though red and black yeah only those two colors okay and I need markers, a half color pencils, and I need loose leaf notebook paper, and a half okay. ruler. I need that glue stick, and I need scissors and construction paper, and a three ring biter, not the one that we have in the closet, like a wheel, the big one. I, Those I need, are three ring binders. No, the big wheel three ring biter is bigger. You saying real? Wheel. Like a wheel, a um, tire. Okay. I need those. Like and a dividers. fat one? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, how many inches? Because I'm saying we've got... It's three. We have three ring binders in the closet. One but, inch, three ring binders. No, but not those. The one, the one with the big wheels. The ring with the big wheels. The big... <laughs> Girl, okay. Maybe I'm looking at a rock or something. You. Is that like a new name for... It's just a bigger binder, like high schoolers. The binders that high schoolers The fat have. one, right? Like a two inch? Something what? like that? I got you. All right. <laughs> and I need the binders. Did they specifically say you needed a fat binder or you just want a fat binder? Yes, they said, my teacher said that I needed the big binder now. The big one? Yes. Not the little small one like we got? Yes. The one inch? The big one. Okay. And uh, these are the grades. <gasps> So my classwork and participation participation counts most, and yeah, they don't go below sixty. So okay, cool. So what else do I need to know besides this school list? Now, is this school list for all of your classes or just one particular class? It's for all of them, Mom. Wait, so you'll need one of each thing for every subject? No, you use it in every subject, and when you run out, you get more. Okay, you're going to have to speak a little bit louder. You know my ear is messed up now. I can't barely hear, okay? And okay, I'm, so this material, required materials, Yes. is this for each course or just in general? Yes, you need them for each class. So you need a composition book for each class, and you no. need a three-ring binder for each class. No. You need a composition notebook, but not for each class. You don't get one of individual things for each class. Okay. You just get however much stuff you get, and you use it in the classes. And when you need more, you get more. Okay, cool. And I brought this one. This is just that, except the second sheet. Let me see. What's that? Why are you trying to skip all the girl? Because it's the same one. She um, gave me an extra. Why did they give you two of them? I don't know. Am I supposed to sign one and say I saw it and send it back? Yeah, I need you to sign all of them. Oh, yeah. Sign need, all of them? Not, not this one. Okay, yeah. Hold on to that one so I can use that one to go get whatever you need. And I'll sign this one. And this is from my science teacher. She made us underline Earth five science. important okay. things. So I underline five important okay. things. Okay. Oh, girl. Oh, excuse me. Oh my gosh, hold on. You sure this is not for each class? Because this say earth science. Mom, if you want to get it for each class. Listen, then... pay attention. We've got two different sheets of things here. Okay. Yep, look. We got three different classes. You tell this, my son. This is a copy of this. Oh, that's a copy of this. You're right. So we've got Amplify. So you need these materials for Amplify. You need the materials. Oh, that's math. Mom, what? you're not listening. You need all the materials for each class. But when you get the materials as just one, you don't get multiple for each class. You get those materials and you use them in each class. Well, according to this school list, it says two composition notebooks. 
versus just the one. I mean, well, yeah. Okay. My first teacher so gave me this one. So you need three total. Three yeah. composition notebooks total. Two for science, one for math. But, I have, but my backpack has to be big enough to fit the binder because the binder is pretty big. Yeah, and then I've got an extra composition notebook in um, the closet. I, I need you to like sign it. Oh, I need to sign it. And I'm signing my life too. away. <laughs> You're not signing your life away here. I'm signing oh my, my life gosh. away. Oh, Lord. All right. I don't know. It just came over me with all this yawning, probably from standing out in the heat for an hour. Waiting on my kid you need to get more off. More oxygen. <clears throat> All right. What else I signed? This and both of this. I mean, yeah, both of these. It's I a pledge a and a letter myself. from her. <sighs> okay. My first teacher, like Homer. Ooh, sorry, y'all. I'm just yawning. All right. Well, do you want to tell the people how school was today? Close out the vlog with how your day at school was. How. Your, yeah, what I just said. How your day so, was at school. School was good. I was quiet and I didn't really talk to anybody because there wasn't really anybody to talk to. Well, everybody was talking to everybody else, so I just stayed quiet. And then lunch came around. Oh, wait, we also have this teacher. Um. I forgot her name, but she teaches individuals and and society. I think that's what he said. I mean, she. Is that earth science? And and then we went to lunch, but I didn't really like lunch because they serve like baked chicken with like the sauce on it and beans that were like half warm so they were already cold and the chicken was a little more than warm but it was getting cold and the corn was just straight cold so and i got a chocolate milk but it wasn't that much milk either so so for this class uh earth science did she say he or she is it a he or she she she, did she say what color pens you need? No. Okay. So you can just use a pencil or a pen. I don't really know. But my first homeroom teacher said bring pens. Well, we have to bring pens because it's required. But she prefer, prefers black and red. Yeah, I can do that. I have plenty of black pens. I've got a, a pack of red pens in my stash. Your what? A Why pack of a red stash? pins in my stash. Why do you have a stash? All right, you guys. So we're going to go ahead and close the vlog off here. Thank you guys so much for visiting the channel. Make sure you subscribe. Join the family. Leave us a comment down below. Say hello so that we can say hey back. Hi. Turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss out on any information that I or any videos that I post to the channel. And we will see you guys in another video. Bye.